The next story takes weather tech to a whole new level. Lightning strikes represent one of the most destructive natural phenomena impacting human society. Knowing where and when lightning may strike is a significant challenge, and even existing methods to protect critical infrastructure don't always succeed. However, this may be about to change. According to Japanese telecommunications company Nippon Telegraph and Telephone Corporation, NTT, a new method for summoning lightning may be appearing in the skies before too long. NTT claims to have achieved a world's first by successfully triggering and drawing lightning using a drone that harnesses electric field fluctuations. The drone does this through a nifty flying lightning protection cage that's designed to prevent it from malfunctioning or getting damaged, even when directly struck. NTT hopes that such cage-equipped drones could protect cities and important infrastructure in the future as they work towards a society free from lightning-related damage, they said in a statement. And their new drone-triggered light lightning technique involves flying a protected drone into position of an approaching storm cloud and actively trigger triggering a strike, the discharge of which can then be safely guided away from vulnerable places. Johannes, can you tell us more about their lightning triggering experiment? Sure, Tiffany. So let me walk you through NTT's lightning experiment. Last winter, near Hamada City in Japan, they launched a heavy lift drone equipped with a special lightning protection cage right into an active thundercloud. Ground sensors kept an eye on the storm's electric field, and once it approached about 2,000 volts per meter, which is the point where lightning is about to strike, a technician flew the drone to roughly 300 meters below the cloud base. A lightweight conductive tether connected the drone to a high voltage ground switch, and when that switch was closed, the charge raised up the tether to the cage, creating a brilliant blue bolt. Even though part of the cage melted from the heat, the drone stayed aloft and was unharmed. So in many ways, this feels like a modern echo of Benjamin Franklin's 1752 kite experiment, but with far more control, of course, and safety. So instead of a kite and a metal key, uh, NTT had a reinforced drone acting as a mobile lightning rod guided by live electric field data. The goal, of course, is to steer strikes away from critical sites, think power stations, wind farm stadiums, and even capture some of that energy. Franklin's experiment proved that lightning is electricity. NTT show, shows us how we might harness it, protecting infrastructure and supplementing our power supply.